Okay, um, get yourself a cup of tea, um, coffee, or whatever you wish. This is going to be a long one. Oh yeah, I'm up here. Let me let me start. I always start down here, don't I? Um, yeah, it's going to be a long one. It's a month since I've done a weekly update, so it's this is the uh, Viet Verbal monthly update on GS Pro and SGT. I mentioned getting yourself a cup of tea or coffee. This little beauty arrived uh, yesterday, day before. Sent all the way from the US of A. Thank you so much, Cook. It's celebrating my hole in one. That was actually something like 204 yards. I want to make it clear. That's the the, the yardage on the uh, um, that was that was on the system, whatever. But uh, uh, yeah, check it out on YouTube. It's somewhere, somewhere on there. But um, thank you so much, Cook. With all the international postage and everything, um, I'm ever so grateful. And um, it is the only mug I will drink from now. Speaking of mugs, we will talk about Wiz later on. Uh, but um, what was I going to get on with? Yes, there's lots to cover. And the very first thing I'll do is disappear up here. Um, and mention something that I just, yeah, didn't know if it had ever arrived. So this is the Foresight Sports website. Um, I've used the GC2 for many years and I think they've got fantastic hardware. Um, I'm refusing to upgrade to anything else. It's, it's good enough for my game. Um, with my putting stroke and yips and all that, then um, I don't think I need anything that would be more accurate and they're fantastic value for money. Uh, but look at that, GS Pro listed on Foresight Sports website. Who would have thought? Um, but it's fantastic. The news came out that there is an official integration now between um, Foresight and GS Pro. Huge congratulations to uh, GS Pro, just showing their, their presence in the market that uh, you know one of the biggest players in simulation um, wants to and needs to um, integrate with them and, and that's fantastic. So those of you out there using the uh, Foresight devices, you now have an official connection that you need to use. Um, <clears throat> I'll leave that there. Check out details online. Uh, there's lots in the Discord channel. Um, but yeah, you can uh, you can check that out. But yeah, fantastic news. Um, I'm going to start by going over to the SGT website and they've still got the SGT Cup. This was the Ryder Cup style event that's been running with lots and lots of people. I don't know, 50 of Americans, 50 um, international um, and it finished. I played my four matches, um, lost the, we halved our four ball, then lost the, my singles to Lafferty. Oh, let's show what it is. Um, then I, we won, myself and a partner, G Coletto, won our um, second four ball, and then I won the singles. So actually was net positive over the event. But, it came down to the wire and it's very contentious and um, yeah, it's, everyone's like, oh, move on. It's just a bit of fun. It's easy to say that if you've won. Um, we had a lead on the international team and then unfortunately there were some no-shows that just didn't play their matches, which which was going to happen. And the fair thing is if the opposition had played their matches, I agree, it's totally fair that they would get the point at the end. Um, but there was a contentious extension for some reason of about, I don't know, 24 hours, 20 hours or something which um, allowed some additional rounds to be played and then that um, obviously affected the end score. Would it have made a difference between international winning and now losing? Um, I thought we should I think we should I thought we should know that information and I've been asking around and no one's said so it left a bit of a sour taste in my mouth for sure just not knowing was the extension um, yeah needed did it make a, affect the result? But it is what it is. So US officially won by two points. Um, I, yeah, as I, said, I didn't like the way it finished and regret having put my six hours into the various rounds, even though I really enjoyed the games I played, just because it seemed, I just like a bit more transparency. Anyhow, um, I did, uh, after a uh, wee, wee uh, glass or two of wine, I did put a message on Discord saying that actually, if Cook will allow it, and sorry, massive congratulations, thank yous to Cook for obviously running SGT and allowing the event to take place. I thought actually the, the way the matches were run, the scoreboards, the leaderboard worked superbly. There's obviously some things that could change and, and lessons that can be learned from it. Um, Gio Yeti, I think, uh, was the main guy that kind of pulled it all together on the website. So a huge thank you. Uh, RMS Angus done lots of the work with the leaderboards, etc. Um, I think, you know, that looked really slick, looks really good. So again, massive thank you there. And all of the captains that did arrange. I thought, as I say, everything was really slick. It's just the way it finished that um, I found disappointing. So I did message my old adversary, Thin Man, who um, we have been up against each other many times in the past on uh, online golf tour days uh, using previous software. 
and fancy doing an invitational Ryder Cup towards the end of the year if Cook, um, Gietti, RMS Angle, any of those guys would allow us to. And it will be the old timers that um, I know and have played for many, many years. I might even get Shanky out of, uh, out of retirement to come up to mine and play. Um, and we'll do the live draft like we used to and all of the various matchups. And um, yeah, I'm hoping that we'll be able to maybe stage that around the turn of the year. But um, it all depends on whether um, whether Cook and others <laughs> get upset by what I'm saying on this video, I guess. Uh, moving on. Uh, let's get on to the tours. Now, there's lots to cover. So I'm going to go down on the tours in order. This is going to be a throw up review. I'm going to cover the four events that I've missed. Um, since the last review and then I'm going to show you the uh, leaderboards and um, you know who's currently leading the various tours at this point in the season um, so as I say it is a long one um, maybe if you are watching this you might want to break it into a, a few different uh, segments let's start with um, we're going to start no, I'm not going to do it on order I'm going to do Pro Tour you should always start with Pro Tour it's the most important one now I didn't have a chance to play the pro, any of the events really recent weeks because um, I only had time to prioritise the Ryder Cup ones and getting my last round in just before the first deadline of the Ryder Cup, which um, I needn't have rushed, though I shot seven under. So to be honest, it worked in my favour, but that's neither here nor there, isn't it? Is it? Anyhow, so the last event I covered, I believe, was the GS Pro Classic. So we're going to go to the uh, 40 net championship and we'll see what's happened there. So this is a few weeks back, but on Pro Tour, it's where the most world ranking points are available. Um, and Salty got the win there. Um, used to be a perennial, perennial, is that the right word? Perennial always? Yes, a winner. Um, haven't, don't think I've seen him up there that much um, lately, but I could be wrong. I know he had an injury before, but that's great to see him at the top of the leaderboard. And well done, Salty. Second place, tied, of course, C. Stevenson. C. Stevenson runner up. Um, as I will call him now, um, and Les, uh, tied second, CW35, who stole, um, not that I hold grudges, I'm sure it was last season, he stole a gross PGA win off me, what was he doing down on PGA? Um, well done CW, fourth, and Carnival there in fifth. I'm not going to do the bottom of the leaderboards and all that, it's just a bit too much for me to cover on this one and looking at the net leaderboard the net winner for pro tour that week was j gibbo eight or gib oh eight um uh you're actually winning by some margin um off a handicap of seven um ahead of salty cw also tied second tim there in fourth tied with les so well done j gib and salty on pro tour in that event uh, closest to the pin, why not? Let me do it. Um, I haven't done this for ages. What do I need to do? I view the scorecard. Nope, I don't view the scorecard. Um, I view the settings, that's it. It's not been that long, has it? Uh, view the settings. Closest to the pin was hole 15. It's just in case someone really wants to know. Hole 15, let's have a look. What's the distance for hole 15? I'm not going to do close to the pin every time. It's going to take me forever otherwise. But for this one... I'm going to guess it's around that 189 blue tees. I don't know what tees it was playing off. <laughs> Why am I doing close to the pin? <laughs> Get rid of that. And the close to the pin. I'm just going to click on it and we'll see who it was. It was Martin, GBG, uh, 4.16 feet. Well done, Martin. Martin. Martino. Moving on. Uh, let's have a look at the other event. So the week after that, after Salted One. It looks like Josh is back up on the uh, on the uh, top of the podium. Hey, C. Stevens for second. <laughs> I told you, run him up, C. Stevens. I did tell you. Yeah, that's that's made my day. Um, Josh, well done, Josh. Um, we haven't played in our two-man scramble forever, so we do need to get that sorted sometime. Um, Cole there in second, um, of course. Willie eight third. Bomber Hild tied for fourth with Les. Over on the net side of things. We had B-Man. So B-Man was my um, partner in the Ryder Cup um, first four ball that we came back and scraped a half, which was a very good half. Uh, but sadly, not enough not enough for making the difference on the scoreboard. Um, second place, Josh. We just won it by one um, from Josh. Um, Cole M third. Uh, Les and Hosel Rocketo and Eyeshine uh, tied for Fifth. There was someone on Discord about iShine's shot date or something in a recent tournament. I don't know. No smoke without fire? I don't know. <laughs> no fire without smoke. Can you have fire without smoke? 
if it's a really clean burning fire, I guess you don't have smoke. Smoke's kind of like when it's not burning that well. I'm not sure. I'm sure you can. Or is there always going to be some? Because it can't be. Can you get 100% combustion? And yeah, don't know. Uh, moving on, closest to the pin. Mm. Am I recording this? Yes, I am. Uh, closest to the pin was Salty, uh, nine feet. Uh, well done, Salty, uh, taking to the, the CTP. Moving on. So that was the SGT Cup warm up, warming everybody up for a very thoroughly miserable finish to the event. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not bitching, not much. Um, the Circling Raven event, and we have got a Swede at the top. Um, Bomberhild winning it, uh, Jay Weber there in second, De Golferman in third, MM Lincoln and Willie 8 tied for fourth. So well done, Bomberhild, on winning that Pro Tour race. Over on the net side of things, we've got, it was close to the top three people tied, but ZS, oh sorry, Z Swanson uh, taking it on count back. Uh, De Golferman and Bomberhill just missing out on the next win. Sean McKenzie, fourth, and J Rock, fifth. So very well done, Zed Swanson. Closest to the pin was Super Swede. Well, the Super Swede was Bomberhill, but uh, Super Swede on closest to the pin was Super Swede. So very well done. Uh, did I do net? Yes, I did. Moving on. And we are up to last week's event. And I can already see that it was a double win for Bomber Hill. Now that's an indecent score. 18 under in round one, followed by 13 under. I mean, really? Uh, Jay Weber in second. Now I knew the whiz would pop up at some point because he, he messaged me privately to uh, ask, um, <laughs> ask for one of these updates, pretty much. Uh, so well done, whiz, getting third place. Um, that's very good, actually, on Pro Tour. Very good. Uh, Bender in fourth, um, and I'm always always wanted to do a joke, but I don't think it's appropriate now. Whenever I see that, and M Guthert and Limitless Golfer in fifth. Well done, Bomber Hield, and well done, Wiz. That's good play. Uh, over on the net side of things, Bomber Hield also took it um, 15 under. Wiz second. He's getting closer. M Guthert uh, third. Arhan Lee. And Zed Norris tied for fourth. I'm just going to go back to the gross side of things and have a look at that scorecard from Bomberhild. I think when you're 18 under. I mean, don't know what he did on the fourth hole. That's the first thing that we really need to look into. Um, and and those two putts. Look, what was he playing at? Uh, but, yeah, it's not bad. Not a bad scorecard. I would just about accept that. Uh, that's that done. So let's have a look at the tour standings for uh, the Pro Tour. At this point in the season, we're probably, what, uh, not even a quarter of the way through the winter season? Um, probably about seventh or eighth of the way through. We have got Jay Weber leading the tour with one win from the five events. We've got Bomberhild who's stormed up there with two wins from four events. Salty there in third, C. Stevenson there in fourth, and Josh finishing out the top five. But always good to see a mix of the wins, I think, rather than just somebody uh, dominating. That's partly why the Formula One is kind of so boring these days with the staff and winning all the time. But anyhow, over on the net side of things, um, at this point, uh, we've got Bomberhild there in first, B-Man second, uh, well done B-Man, RJD third, Martin in fourth, who obviously got the win um, in one of the events, can't remember if it was later, and Zed Swanson. So again, net side, you're always more likely to have shared wins, obviously with handicaps changing and things like that, but um, it's good to see at this point. Okay, that concludes the Pro Tour. Moving on to the SGT. This used to be known as the PGA Tour. Um, am I just off the top of that? There we go. Let me drive my full camera. Um, we'll do the same thing. We will go back to the SGT warm-up event. And it's one of my teammates in the clan for about 20 minutes. Um, I was joining the uh, Globetrotters clan, um, which is full of Aussies and... Kiwis and a South African, I think. Um, and then somebody who was in that Discord group realised that they weren't on in the squad. <laughs> so given that they're an Aussie, um, it made sense for me to uh, get out of there and um, and let them play. So I am clanless, clanless this uh, season. 
but uh, so be it. Um, anyhow, Ginger Ninja, that's point. A New Zealander, Kiwi at the top. Uh, can can from, uh tied second with Holby One. Uh, Sean McKenzie tied for fourth with I Shine. Uh, but yeah, 13 under, very good play, Ginger Ninja. Over on the net side of things, we had Sean McKenzie bagging the win. Uh, well done, Sean. Uh, can from second, CO Golf third, Holby One, and Blukes tied for fourth. Closest to the pin that week, the winner was C Putman, uh, 2.36. So by some margin, winning that closest to the pin when you've got that many people hitting the green. Um, winning it by a few feet is uh, no small feat. Yeah, that works, I think. Yeah, moving on. Uh, over to the Circling Raven at Circling Raven Golf Club. And we've got another, this is my previous clan teammate. We've got Marg, or Marge, I've always called him Marge. I'm continue to call him Marge. Um, Marge winning it on uh, 21 under. Incredible first round, 15 under first round. Fantastic play. Jason Sull, second. I shine third. Steve-O, DLGC in fourth. And Jack and the Cheese tied for fifth. So well done, Marge. Over on the net side of things, um, it was a mammoth victory off of a dirty handicap of nine. That'll get cut. Um, well done, KMP1718. Um, let's have a look. What's it been cut to? What's his handicap of nine been cut to? Uh, Tour handicap. Yes, scratch. So he's back to uh, scratch. Nine shots difference from when he bagged that trophy. <laughs> Anyhow, well done, KMP. Uh, second Jack, uh, Ebal Knebel, uh tied for third with Dan Skit, love the name, and Marge also tied for third. Um, Aussie, because of the extra little um, little star. It is stars, isn't it? Can't quite see on the flag. Yes, and Kiwis don't have that. Yes, I know I'm right. I'm sure I'm right. Uh, what are we done? Closest to the pin. Um, this week it was ace 2029 hitting and almost scoring an ace on the hole. Sorry, <clears throat> I'm trying, I'm a little bit rusty on this. You see, I've got to kind of get back into the swing of things, and then we can go down the bottom of the table and start slagging people off that quit and all that stuff. I've just got to find time to make sure this happens. Obviously, likes, comments on the YouTube video, please. If you watch this, just stick a comment on there, whatever, be as insulting as you wish. It's just, uh, it encourages me to continue to do these and prioritise them. Uh, this week it was J-Dub winning it by a uh, country mile, nine shots. And this is gross. Well done, J-Dub. Get yourself up to pro lad. Um, well done. Uh, second, I shine. Liv Zen in third. Ginger Ninja in fourth. And the cheese also tied for fourth. But two 13 unders is indecently good golf. Looking at net, uh, Zed Norris bagged the win. Uh, J-Dub, second, Maccabee, uh, third, Pitts, 200, and R. Hunley tied for fourth. I've no, no, why did Maccabee, no, Maccabee made me just immediately think of 49ers. Uh, anyhow, uh, 49 fantastic season. Aren't they? Any of you American football fans just like loving watching them at the moment. Brock Purdy, awesome, awesome. Uh, anyhow, I digress. Uh, that was net. Well done, Zed Norris. Looking at the closest to the pin. Jason Sol took it just clear of Goliath. Um, so I wish that was David top, and then it could be David defeats Goliath once again, but it wasn't. It was Jason. So completely pointless me saying that. Moving on. And this last week's event, uh, Sanson Farms Championship. I've just done that one, haven't I? Did I go back far enough? I don't think I covered the 40 net on this one. Well, anyhow, we can see if I didn't, I've got a feeling I went straight into the SGT warm-up. Um, so 40 net, J-Dub, so I haven't finished with J-Dub. J-Dub won this one. The cheese just missing out. Bradford in third. Ginger Ninja in fourth. And Chris Kildo in fifth on the gross side of things, over on the net side of things. So this is four weeks ago. The cheese took it. Uh, Zuba, who battered me in the uh, Queen Cup. Um, in singles, second, uh, J-Dub, third, Steve-O, tied for fourth with CO Golf and Katie Knarr. What was the cartoon that used to have Knarr? It was a Knarr. Oh, a cat. It's a cat, I think. They go Knarr. Top cat? 
Might have been Top Cat, can't remember. Uh, and closest to the pin was CD3164, catchy name, uh, winning that one. Okay, let's have a look at these standings for the SGT. This is the one that I should probably be playing for my standard, but I'm going to be playing pro. Pro is what matters. I'll go back to the pro and look at the uh, where I am. No, I'll just look at ranking. I haven't played for a month, so my rankings are going to be dropping. I might be out the top 100 now. It's sad. Anyhow, uh, standings. At this point in the season, we have got J-Dub um, in top spot with two wins from six events. Well done, J-Dub. Second, Bradford. Some way back. Ginger Ninja in them third. Dad Goldfman in fourth. And the Cheese there in fifth. So J-Dub's got a decent lead. Obviously, there's more world... Uh, more world ranking. More tour points available when you get into the playoffs and the season championship at the end. And hopefully, there'll be some new rules this season. I don't know about making sure that people have played a minimum number of events to be able to... Uh, take the title and not just play the last couple of events and uh, earn the extra points, but we'll see. That's beyond my pay grade. Um, over on the net side of things, we have got the cheese in top spot, CO Golf there in second, J Dub in third, Roy McAvoy in fourth, and Sean McKenzie there in fifth. And again, you can see the wins are all being shared out on the net side of things, which I think is good to see. But the cheese is just clear of CO Golf at this point. I'm just going to skip Webb. I'm not really, but I know my, my friend Thin Man is going to be. Heavily featuring, I can almost guarantee it. I'm not even really looking at these events, but um, we're going to go back to the Fortinet Championship. And the winner, thank you, Drakung. Drakung is uh, taking that one. He's hoovering up all these wins now that Stagamar is up there on pro um, and other people, but um, he's not the only one hoovering up wins, sadly. Second, Morgan Golf. There he is. There he is, thin man, hacking it around on web tour. Um, in third, Soupy, the goat of Discord in fourth, and Rudy there in fifth. Very well played. Drakung, over on the net side of things, we have got Ribs' is Smokem. Um, uh, well done. That's a, somebody I've not mentioned before, I don't think. Drakung second. Knackma? 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 Knackma. Um, in third, Pin Sniper tied for fourth with Schwab C. Um, and Doc Blank, Schwab is, Schwa, that is um, Shahid's uh, brother, I believe. Um, I, could, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty, I think it might be. Shahid, the, the goat of alternate shot, unbeaten when he's been my partner, though. If we are going to do another Ryder Cup at the end of the year, I may regret making that statement public. We'll probably get like paired up against, I don't know, Bob Chung and Bob Chung, something like that. Anyhow, um, that's the next side of things. Uh, closest to the pin. Closest to the pin was Tito, as opposed to... Da -da 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 -da. No, where'd he go? Da -da 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 -da. I want to do Hold the Line, Toto. I'll do Africa instead. Anyhow, Tito. Well done, Tito. How does Hold the Line go? Deal. Dun, 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 dun. But it's the piano bit. Anyhow. Uh, okay, we're going to skip the SGT warm-up event. No, we're not. SGT warm-up. We'll do this one quickly. Uh, Thin Man winning it by nine shots. Uh, well done, Thin Man. Second, David Bates. Third, Ace Racer. I'm sure they're still giving out too many world ranking points. I forgot to mention that on Web Tour. They, sh they should be fighting for like, I don't know, point three world ranking points if you win. Um, something like that would be fair. Uh, second place, David Bates. Third, Ace Racer. Fourth, Le um, And fifth, Rudy Soupy. Yeah, Rudy and Soupy. There, tied for fifth. Well done. Um, over on the net side of things, don't be a double win. It's not. Oh, Danny boy. <laughs> Abba on second. Uh, tied second with uh, Chris DB. Le Seminara. Um, tied for fourth with Joey says, do it. Well, do it, Joey. Don't finish fifth. Do it. Win it. Win it, Joey. Joey should say win it. Or Joey, just just win it. Just do it. That'd be Mike. Don't know. What am I on about? CTP. Let's have a look. We have got Hooch. I remember Hooch. Hooch makes me feel sick every time I see Hooch because it used to be a lemon, alcoholic lemon drink. And it was, what's it called? Yeah, it's pretty nasty. As opposed to, ugh, as opposed to Purdy's. Rejuvenate. Grape and apple with ginseng. Purdy's, if you're watching this, wouldn't be remarkable if the Purdy's like brand manager was watching this and can send me a big batch of Purdy's. 
Um, I'll, I'll take any sponsorship. I don't mind what it is. Send it to me and I'll, I will be sponsored. I'm you know, desperate for anything. Any freebies, love it all. Hooch, well done. Um, that was close to the pin. That's us done. Over we go to the Circling Raven uh, tournament. This one was, thank you, Morgan Golf. Very well done, Morgan Golf, winning it on 17 under. Unlucky Thin Man, just two shots back in second place. Third, we've got Fleck. Fourth, we've got MJ Golf. And Damon Hill in fifth. <sighs> Might not be Damon. D Hill in fifth. Over on the next side of things, uh, we had Dan Skitt winning it for the... Australia. Uh, we got LCR 13 in second place for Australia. Uh, we got Tikas in third from Bel Germany. Bel, Bel Germany. Belgium. Germany. Germany. I don't know. Uh, I should know. I should know. Come on, let me have a quick look. Germany flag. How can I not know the German flag? Of course, it's that way round. <laughs> Idiot. Oh no. I can't be bothered to edit this out. Belgium flag. Of course, it's Belgium. You. Cretin, Phil. Okay, sorry. Um, Dude Mott in fourth and Fleck there. Tied for Rudd in fifth with old Danny Boy in seventh. Over on the net side of things. That was the net side of things. Yeah, that was the net side of things. Let's have a look at closest to the pin. It was A-Rex uh, winning it just clear of PJO. And then look at that. Seven odd feet to third and all the rest of them. Wow, how, firstly, how big was the green and how bad are the web players? Where was Thin Man? How bad was Thin Man's shot? Did he even get onto the green? Oh, I can't even see him there. Come on, go. Oh, it's not even on there. It's not even on there. That poor. That poor. Moving on to... Come on, website. It's, it's brilliant having a fast website. I don't have to kind of open up all the pages like I used to. I can just kind of do it on the... On, on the fly. Uh, over at Sanderson Farms, uh, Country Club of Jackson. It's a double win we can see for Morgan Golf. Morgan Golf taking it on 24 under. Absolutely smashed it. Get up playing PGA. Oh, sorry, SGT as it is, lad. Move on up. Um, Andy there in tied for second with Lus 63. Tredgeball in fourth. And there he is, Thin Man dropping like a stone down to fifth. Love it. Over on the net side of things. We have got Morgan Golf also winning it on count back. Just winning it from Andy. Unlucky Andy there um, in second. Flacco in third. Oh, Vietnam, Paraguay, Uruguay, Malaysia. What's the flag? Cuba? <laughs> Can't remember. I used to be good at flags and now I'm not. Action. Um, tied for fourth with Luss. Um, over on the, that is the next side of things. This is poor, isn't it? Don't dislike the videos, because I'm sure YouTube won't like that. If you dislike the videos, even if I'm rubbish at doing what I'm doing, um, they might not like it, and they might like drop me down algorithms and not do any stuff, I don't know. So if you dislike it, just put a comment on there saying that's rubbish, or, you know, you're an idiot, and express yourself in the comments, not on the uh, down like dislike unlike pin sniper well done let's move on well done keeping grand Pauli um, off the top spot there okay so let's have a look at the standings for the web tour come on Drakun. come on Drakun. you can do it you can do it Drakun. let's have a look over on the gross side of things come on come on oh Yes, well done, Morgan Golf. Morgan Golf, top spot. Unlucky Thin Man back there in second, despite playing more events than everybody. He's not winning it. Mm. Uh, third place, Drakung. Come on, Drakung, find some form. Get yourself up there. David Bates, you too. Get yourself moving up the table. Soupy, come on, Soupy. Stop typing on Discord and get swinging a golf club. Um, they're in fifth. Over on the net side of things. At this point in the season, we got Ribs's Smokum top, Morgan Golf second, Rocky top third, DLT Garden. I don't think I've mentioned DLT Garden. He's been, oh, he's been in the top five twice. I must have um, in fourth. I probably have today. And old Danny Boy in fifth. Um, well done, Ribs's Smokum. Moving on. See, we're doing okay, I think. Still recording, yeah? I haven't run out of space. Seems to be. I think we're doing okay. 
Uh, over onto the tips tour. We'll get onto auto putt, the Bob Chung auto putt tour momentarily. Um, going back to what I think is this one, the 40 net tips, we had Keymart winning it four shots clear of <laughs> one of Upsy Stevenson. I told you, I told you. Quiton, um, excellent Quiton. Quiton gave me a nice referral to somebody, a friend of his, um, um, who was looking for some sim, sim stuff. Did, did he actually buy or did he not buy? I can't remember if he did buy anything, but not that it matters. But yeah, well done, Crichton. Finally, we've got a decent Scottish number one on the tour. You know, I was hanging around there as Scottish number one by default for many, many years. And now I'm probably about Scottish number 15. But uh, well done. It's good having Crichton there. Uh, Bradford tied for third. And Zuba, Andrew and Ross Oberg and Muell and I Shine and Steve O D L G C tied for fifth. Everybody else tied. Actually, everybody. You can all have a shout out for tying fifth. Even Ian Winchester. Well done for finishing fifth. Tied for fifth this week. Um, over on the net side of things, uh, Keymart took it four shots clear of. Was that? It was. See, Stevenson was second on Groves. Oh, Keymart took Groves. Oh, it's only. You know what? Just for the fun of it, see Stevenson second again. Okay, there's only, I forget tips, there's no handicaps, I need that. Closest to the pin. I don't think I did that on the last web one, but hopefully nobody will miss out. Uh, Brady, wow, that must have been a tough, long hole, whatever it was. Let's have a look what it was, because um, Black Tees, 15th, 15th, Black Tees, 194. That's not that far away. Yeah, there might have been a bit of wind or something, but how many people, how many people played it? All of those, 49 people finished their rounds and only, only six could hit the green. Rubbish, you tips players. Bunch of useless numpties. Well done, Brady. Uh, going back, well, this is going to be quicker then. We don't have to do net. Um, going back, we have got the tips top 100, Shinnecock Hills. And we had Josh winning it on countback. Oh, I, I, come on, Josh is a good mate, but Scottish flag, got to go with Crichton. We're, we're smart enough to lose into Spain yesterday, which hurt a bit. Getting battered by Ireland in the rugby, which hurt a lot. You know, we need uh, we, we need some good news on Tuesday, qualifying for the uh, Euros. Come on, Spain, beat, beat Norway and do us a favour. Uh, Bomberhild there, tied for third with Sir Bob of Chung. Good to see Bob, uh, Bob up there. And Ross Oberg back there in fifth. Uh, closest to the pin, come on, more than six of you can hit the green. Well done, tips tour players. Jay Webber just stopping Sir Bob of Chung from getting the uh, top spot. Um, well done. Moving on to the next event, we're up to uh, the Tips Ryder Cup alternative, because we don't have, sadly, the Ryder Cup um, course. It'd be great if we could get it designed. I know we've missed the Ryder Cup. How good was that, though? How good was the real Ryder Cup? Fantastic. Yeah. Not not the one. Yeah. Which was great. Run beautifully. Just, uh, I think I've, I've said enough on that. Bomber Hill, well done. Uh, See, so he's in second. <laughs> Unlucky, Carl. Your time will come. Don't worry. Wouldn't bet on it. But. Um, Mr. Powers, third, tied with the cheese. And Mark Kimpton, golf goth. There in tied for fifth with M. Loga. Matt. Matt Loga. I'm sure I saw that somewhere. Or have I made that up? Not not certain. I don't know people all the people's names. That's why when, you know, on Discord, I mentioned about the Vinny Ryder Cup thing and then Cook put a message there saying, I hope not. He asked us to uh, captain. He did he did kindly ask myself and Thinny, do you want a captain? And my instincts were, yeah, I would if Thinny did it. because But then it would be, we couldn't do the live matchups. I don't know anybody. You know, who do I know on this? I know of Bomber Hill, but I don't know who he is. Cole, I've exchanged messages with enough times that I kind of vaguely don't know, 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 apart from playing him head to head. Don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know. You know what I mean? Do now because he's a customer of mine. Don't know, 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 don't know. B man, I've played with now, but that's the point. I couldn't do matchups, so that's why I couldn't do the captaincy. But I'd be up for doing a an invitational where it will be all your kind of old timers may even get davor the gs pro founder you know the god of gs pro who i've played with many times in rider cups maybe get davor out of retirement get shanky out of retirement uh, that'd be great well i don't know would it be to playing your own software 
Would that be weird? Would you get annoyed if you encountered a bug? <laughs> I don't know. Would he fix it on the fly? I don't know. Anyhow, where was I? <laughs> um, closest to the pin, I think. Did I do that one? Yes, I did. I took great joy in Cold being second. Close. No, no. Oh, that's backfired. Well done, Cole. Look at that. Ten, almost ten feet um, better than the, the second place. Very well done. That must have been a tricky one. Um, almost a hole in one. You get yourself a mug. Then I think the second one you get, Bob's got about 15 things. Um, you get a, a driver cover or a wood cover. I don't know if it's driver or three wood. Um, and then I think there's other stuff as well. I think you get a car if you get like 100 hole in ones. Something like that. Uh, we are, are we done? Tips Rider, we've got to do the new, we've got another one. Oh no, we've got Sansom Farms, we've got one more. One more, and I shine first, goal second, I told you. You know, CTP doesn't count, we all know that. Um, the goal for man third, uh, Bobby Chung there in fourth. Um, the legend, my Ryder Cup, you know, when we went head to head and had to give him a shot, and we tied in the Ryder Cup back in the day. Obviously that, you know, my greatest achievement in sim golf. Bob says it's his too, but which is really, really nice of him. But uh, I think he's done a bit, a bit better than that. Um, and D show there in fifth, closest to the pin. Zed Swanson taking it, just holding pits off of that uh, top spot. And another Scottish guy I haven't seen, Cappy sixty nine UK. Um, welcome, Cappy. Uh, that's that. So we'll have a look at the standings over on the tip store. Looking at the standings, we have got... It's, oh, no! I'm going to have to report a bug. You can see that wins column for C. Stevenson. It's got one in it. I'll have to report a bug to RMS Anger. But, uh, yeah, Cole top with one win uh, from five. Bomber Hield second. Bradford third. I shine fourth. And Keymart fifth at this point in the season. And that concludes Tip Store. Uh, over we go. We all do world rankings at the end and also show courses. I haven't seen how many courses have been designed lately, but there's loads. We'll go on to Auto Putt, uh, the Bob Chung Auto Putt Tour. And over on the Auto Putt, uh, we have got. Oh, he's still doing it. He's still doing it, sly old dog. Uh, Bob Chung taking the top spot as it should be. He should always be. That should be kind of like in in kind of marble, backed in marble, and just left there in the first spot, Bob. Doesn't matter about the scores after, it's always in first spot, and then just do the rest of the table. Second, the golfer man. Tied for third, T-Mac, Brady, R. Hunley, Hoddle Rockato, and M. Loger. So very well done, Bob. Over on the net side of things, um, A. Jacobson uh, taking the top spot. Don't think I've mentioned A. Jacobson, I probably have. Just like when I was playing my singles game, I said I haven't mentioned Lafferty Jr. And... I clearly had, um, but yeah, oh yeah, I'm very happy to get a one and one and one against him. He's a good player, and I, I played my as well as I possibly could in round two in the second singles. Um, anyhow, I digress. Uh, a Jacobs on top, uh, LD Cat second, Rib Smoke and third, tied with Strong Design Studio and Flacco nineteen. I'm gonna have to look up that flag. I'm not gonna do it publicly because it's embarrassing. Um, okay, closest to the pin. That week, it was Christian. Uh, do you do, no, you don't do closest to the pin. How come that's showing? Because it would have been on the green, but outside of the gimme circle. So that, that is no, no, uh, no reward. There's no, um, nothing to be proud of there, Christian. Shame. You brought shame on the auto putt players there. Very disappointed in you. Moving on. Over to get Cape Breton. Oh, Bob again, I told you. Put it in marble, stick it up there, nail it down and just leave it there in the first spot. Second Fandorm, NB Golf third, Lysic fourth, tied with Blazely Sack. Looking over on the next side of things, we've got the dude, the dude, the big Lebowski there in first spot. What flag is that? Black, white, red. Oh, I haven't got the foggiest What? If I click on it, will it say what? Oh, oh it looked black. Now, come on, that's... That's because it looked black here on my my screen. Um, where are we over the next side of things? I'm not I'm not having it pointed out that that's France. I <laughs> I thought it was black. Honestly, blue I would have known France. 
Uh, Hendrik, um, there in second from Germany. Yes, I've got it. Crazy Irish there in third. Just remove crazy. We know that. We know it's crazy Irish. If it's Irish, given. It's a given. Lissick, uh, tied for fourth with Sonic Jones and Bob Chung. We went ages without French players on the tour. It's kind of, I always found that a little bit odd that we didn't have any French guys, but we have now, so that's good to see. Um, the fact they're on the auto putt suggests maybe then they've got a device that they can't putt with. Like me. It's called a putter. <laughs> a device they can't putt with, yeah? I'm rubbish at putting. Get it? Yeah. I think you got it anyway. Moving on. Uh, Cape Breton. Done. We are over to Hjort Spring. Hjort, Hjort Spring Golf Club. What's that going to be? Uh, Swedish, Dutch, Dutch, Hjort, Hjort, Hjort. It's got to be Dutchy, Swedish. Yurgle, Yurgle, Gurgle. No, they don't go Yurgle, Gurgle. Sorry, I'm offending everybody. Sorry. Uh, the cheese won it. Phil Ace from India. That's a little joke that I do see, Dark Ewers. The Welsh and Indian accents, they're practically the same. Um, Bob Chung there in third. That must be a mistake. Um, Bob in first. The Cheese second. Phil Ace third. Bomber Hill fourth. And Travis Nelson. Well done, Bob. And the Cheese. Over on the next side of things, we've got Dr. Top. Oh, what's the what's the uh, Nielsen song? Coconut. Um, you put the lime in the coconut and drink and board up. You put the lime in the coconut and drink and board again. Or put the lime in the coconut. Then you feel better. Put the lime in the coconut. Yeah, coconut. Check it out from Nielsen. And he mentioned, Doctor, Doctor, is there nothing I can do? I said, Doctor, to the relief this belly ache. It wasn't nothing I can take to relieve this belly ache. I said, Doctor. Anyhow, Benjurama at second, tied with Phil Ace from India. And in tied for fourth, we've got Kai's and 84D250. And closest to the pin. Uh, what am I on? Auto putt tour. You don't do it. You don't do closest to the pin. Come on. When am I going to learn? When am I going to learn? And this last week's event, uh, we have got the cheese winning it again. Oh, come on, Bob. He's slackening off. Um, tied with M.M. Lincoln and Bradford, so winning it on count back the cheese. Super Swede there in fourth, and Bob Chung um, in first, stroke fifth. Uh, that's that's that. That's it done. That is auto putt. Let's have a look at the standings. I'll be I'll be disappointed if it's not. Yes, of course it is. So Bob, of, excuse me. So Bob of Chung in first, the cheese second, Bradford third, M.M. Lincoln and Van Dorp. At this point in the season. We're getting there, we're getting there. We're on to um, the Par 3 Tour. Over on the Par 3 Tour. Going a month back at Cantero Golf Club. We had Les winning it on count back from J-Dub. Again, this is a fun one, a fun quick round. I use it as a warm-up, so I don't ever do well because it's kind of the first swings of the day. That's if I have a warm-up. But um, I, do, I do enjoy it because you don't have to tee the ball up and any of that nonsense. So, uh, well done, Les, taking that. J-Dub second, Blazy Sack third, Jay Weber fourth, tied for third, I mean, and M. Loger and Jason Soul tied for fifth. Over on the net side of things, J-Rog taking the top spot. Oh, Danny Boy in second. Big tuna. I love tuna. Love a tuna steak or tuna anything. Anything with tuna. Love it. Um, in third, far under par. Um, not far enough under par, I would say. Um... Uh, tied for fourth with Zedcox, Zcox, Zcox, um, uh, and we'll look at closest to the pin. It was Swing King showing why he is king. Oh, keeping Tommy off the top spot. Tommy, I've got one. I've got one. Here you go, Cook. One, one for your uh, the website. Yeah, for the merch, advertising the merch. We'll go. I have to drink left-handed if you want. No, no, you don't want GSP, you want SGT, so it works for you. So while I'm drinking, other people are seeing SGT. Was that what he was thinking then, right-handed? Which side of the logo? So that actually is a bit more advertising, more for SGT than it is for GS Pro. Yeah, always thinking of himself, cook. Um, Not really. That was just a throwaway comment. Don't ban me. Don't ban me. Do me a favour. I wouldn't be able to do these. Actually, I could still do them even if I was banned, but would there be any point? I don't think I would bother. Uh, moving on. Moving on. 
Uh, moving on, we are on to. Uh, did I do Les Joe? Yeah, I don't know. Over at Trophy Lake Golf and Casting, so fishing club, I'm guessing. Um, and we've got Willie Eight taking it by just one shot from Bomber Hill there in second. Well done, Willie. Uh, Willie oh, was winning everything back in the uh, Pro Tour days last season, I think it was, um, at the start of the season. Uh, Bomber Hill second, J-Dub there in third, D-Show in fourth, and Jason Sol fifth. A heavily US-dominated leaderboard, though Les tied for fifth as well, getting in there for Australia. Um, over on the net side of things, we've got pa Lancaster winning it for the Aussies. Uh, second, Mr. Powers, South Africa. Um, Lissick in third, Matthew Nogger and Shahid Chachia in fifth there we go shaheed the legend the alt shot rider cup legend unbeaten in alt shot through all of our rider cups when paired with me of course of course he, he obviously carried me through all of those matches i should clarify um no closest to the pin why is there no closest to the pin is it not one for par three no uh, so be it if there isn't one there isn't one i'm not going to make it up over on uh, two weeks back, we had Les winning it. Uh, 20 under, four shots clear of M. Loga. J-Dub um, also tied for second. Jason Sol there in fourth, tied with Sir Bob of Charlton. Very well played, Les. Over on the net side of things. Oh, closest to pins there. I think it was a might have been a cock-up in the setup there, possibly. I don't know. 84D, 250, uh, winning the net side of things. Dustin in second, uh, Pitts. Uh, tied for third with T. Lil, uh, Kina, JD, Les, and Luz 63, and Chris Kildo. Um, all of you guys uh, tied for third. Closest to the pin was Better Eye, um, hitting a Better Eye shot than Bradford. Um, I want to say like a county, you know, a county away from, no, Bradford's not even a county. That wouldn't make sense. City. No, can't think of a pun. Bradford's near me, so it's a town near me. City, it's a city near me. Uh, what am I on about? And last week's event, over on par three, tour. Willie eight, winning. Good to see Willie at the top of the leaderboard again. J-Dub second, Blazy Sack third. Baldo, that could be any one of a number of people. Um, I doffed my hat to you, Baldo. Um, tie for fourth with table captain who messaged me yesterday. He saw my how happy I was with my mug and he sent me a lovely little message, which was really nice. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Table Captain. It was much, much appreciated. Uh, so yeah, it made my day as, as well. Um, do, 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 do. Where am I? I digress. What am I doing? I just called up Discord then um, for some reason. Uh, over on the net side of things, we have got Da Good Friend uh, top. Not Good Friend winning everything and making everyone else miss out on the win. Uh, Mark Hampton Golf Goth there in second. Strong Design Studio tied for third with Hard Cole and Jay Wheels. Hey, Jay Wheels. Been a while. Been a while. Used to, that was when I was in my phase of playing late night drunken golf, like, you know, one in the morning with Aero Burner and people like that, and then suddenly having a challenge match with Jay Wheels at like two in the morning or something. Those days are long gone, long gone. Um, over on the CTP side of things, we had Wise taking the top spot, not to be mistaken with Wiz, who isn't in the top spot, obviously. Sorry, Wiz. Your time will come. So, let's have a look at the standings. Oh, I don't need to go back. Why don't I do that? Standings up there. Um, at this point in the season, over on Gross on the par three, we've got Les top with two wins from the six events. We've got J-Dub second, really solid, four out of uh, four top fives out of six. Willie, straight up there with two wins from three in third place. M. Loga fourth and Better Eye fifth. Just shows these guys must have a very good wedge play because some of the par three setups are obviously shorter than others. Um... On the next side of things, uh, the wins have been shared out as, a, as they normally are. Uh, J-Rog top, Dusty N second, Pat Lancaster third, 84D 250 in fourth. Help my pants are on fire, are they? Okay. Fifth. And Nerd Alert, Nerd Alert IP Config, FTW, Nerd Alert, also tied fifth. And a good friend, better, better, letting other people win some events uh, there, also tied for fifth. <sighs> we're almost there, we're 
almost there. What have we got left to cover? Scramble. Um, as I said, I've not been playing. I should have been playing because it's a fun one. Uh, Two-man scramble. We've got Random Hero M. Loga winning um, on count back from Stagamar and Liv Zen. This is uh, four weeks back. Salty Carnival tied third with Ginger Ninja, Jabin, and Fandorm and Pontus Q. Typhoon and T-Mac tied for fifth. On the net side of things, we've got Emperone and Mangaloni uh, taking the top spot. In second, we've got Jay Harper, Chab Top, CO Golf and Ryant T858. Uh, in fourth, tied, we've got Basement Golf for BB119, Random Hero and M Loga, and Golf Fighter and Golorilla. Um, they're tied for fifth. I uh, can't be bothered to do closest to the pin. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. It's only quick. Uh, Prienzo taking the closest to the pin. Very well done. Three weeks ago at Oakwoods, we had a win for Fandorm and Pontus Q winning it on count back. Ginger Ninja and Jabin second. Uh, B Man and Scuba, Willie Eight and Carson Ritz, Salty and Carnival tied for third. Over on the net side of things, well done, Fandorm and Pontus. Net side of things, we've got BM Collie getting a win. Played the most rounds ever on. Um, Tour years back on online golf tour days, propped up a few leaderboards. I have to say, I do recall that. But he used to bang in the rounds. So very well done, BM Collie, um, and Rob P. Um, obviously, it's a team team effort. Uh, taking the top spot over on the net side of things. Jason Dean, JD Zane, second. McQuill, Brody, Onk, Tone Faces, and in fifth, B Man, Scuba, Willie Eight, and Carson Ritz. Closest to the pin that week was Fandorm. So. Uh, not only were they, oh, he's not there. I thought Fandorm was, yeah, they were top. So uh, top of the standings and hit the closest to the pin. Very well done. Two weeks back over at Boone Golf Club, we had Salty and Carnival taking the top spot, holding off Kwetig and Bob Chung. Uh, Jason Dean, JD Zane tied for third with Mythesis, my mate Mythesis, and Andrew, uh, CEO Golf, Ryan and Brady, Jason Sol. Anti Booms and Brian Bomgren. Um, over on the net side of things, so well done, Salty and Carnival. Net side of things, we've got Woldal Dwizzle and Diesel 4410. Um, winning on count back from Emperoni and Mangalona and Hooch and Phil. And T Booms and Brian Bomgren all missing out on count back to that top spot. Uh, Kiwetig, uh, Bob Chung, Holtzy, and Mike Hap tied for fifth. Uh, closest to the pin. We got Bob Chung, of course it was. Of course it was Bob. It's bound to be Bob. Well done, Bob, for hitting a good shot. That's normally pretty much the best I can say about my rounds of golf. At some point, I tend to hit a good shot. Not that good, but a good shot. And winning this one. Um, oh, Grumples must have played very, very well, um, helping C. Stevenson coal onto the top spot. So very well done, Grumples and uh, C. Stevenson winning on count back, holding off Kwetig and Bob. Uh, in third, we've got Mike Sis and Andrew V. Salty and Carnival. And there in fifth, we've got B-Man Scuba, Stagamar lives in. The goat of Webb, Stagamar, and Defroz and Scott Lashur. Um Closest to the pin was Andrew V. Uh, and that concludes the two-man events. So it's just to show the standings at this point. We've got Salty and Carnival, top with two wins. In second place, we've got Grumple and C. Stevenson with two wins. In third, we've got Mythesis and Andrew V with no wins. In fourth, we've got Fandorm and Pontus Q with one win. And in fifth, we've got Random Hero and M. Logo with one win. Have we played an event yet? Have I actually played one? No, I haven't played one this season. What's the Wiz doing down there? LP3 Golf. Who's bottom of the standings on this thing? Fireman and Hoagie. Anyway, we will cover some of the bottom of the leaderboards when it's not a mammoth one. So at that point, you've still got the dog fights. If people want to play for money, you can do the dog fights thing where you get grouped up and your scores count with other people and you can win some, some good money. But you have to live stream. Um, there's another uh, sim golf. There's the sim golf kind of site where they set up their own events. They're doing their own Ryder Cup. There's qualifying happening right now. Um, if I can be bothered to go in the sim, I could attempt to qualify for it. But I don't think it's a USA versus international thing. It might be. You know, my motivation is to take on USA, really. So I'll probably have to give that one a miss, but I don't know. Um, SGT Cup's done. The Blitz is a uh, Sunday night, I think it is. I think it's Sunday night they do it. I could be wrong. It might be Saturday night. Um, 
where at a certain time everybody plays and again you can you put some money in you can win some money and it all gets done very quickly play, play, everyone playing at the same time kind of thing so uh, get involved with those all I'm going to do now is go to the world golf rankings this is a sad sight for me now um, given the lack of golf so we've got Jay Webber in the top spot very well done I, I think that will be the first time I've looked and he's, he's been in the top spot Josh there in second um, we've got C. Stevenson in third with good golf and then uh, two Aussies Jay Lag and Les uh, finishing out the top five so very well done go on Crichton get yourself up there lad um, working our way down I'll see where my oh Welsh Welshman there in 25 well done Phil Ace uh, Jordan Hood, who um, hasn't played a great deal. I think he's Irish, Northern Irish, I'm guessing, given it's got the UK flag on there, but in uh, 33rd. There's the Wiz, the Wiz in 38th. Well done, Wiz. Table captain there in 46th. Thin man in the top 50. Oh. <laughs> let's see what points he's been earning in a PGA up against all the other good golfers, and let's have a look. And all of the, obviously, the pro, the pro points he's, he's been earning. You know, it's important to look at these things. Web, 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 web. Moving on. We've got Drakken there. Hooving at web points. Shame, shame, shame. Although I don't want to see them wandering naked. Both of them together wandering naked might be funny. Down the street and everyone throwing things. Everyone shouting shame. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm the only one that's been thinking about that. But Tommy Seb, Tommy Seb would have been thinking about that as well. There he is in 58th. Well done, Tommy. Um, Stagamar, the web goat, now playing, earning world ranking. Let's see what Stagamar's up to. Come on, he was winning all the web events. He was winning all those web events. Let's look at his uh, ranking points. Look, pro, pro, SGT, pro, pro, pro. I applaud you, Stagamar. I applaud you. Very well done. Much respect. No shame at all there. There's Thin Man again. Shame, shame, shame. Uh, moving further down. Where's Inorquo? He's not. I'm, oh, he's there. He's still there. 54th. Oh, dear. Am I in the top 100? Come on. Come on. Yes. Top 80. Oh, yes. It's these guns. It's these guns that... Get me there, look at that. Yes, that'll do. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, courses. How many courses have we got now? I'm sure it was at like 600 or something when I last checked. 646 courses, that is ludicrously good. Uh, can I search by last updated? Yes. Have I clicked the arrow the right way? No, the other way, other way. So just in the last few days alone, we've got Riverwalk, Silver Creek, Columbia, Northern Bay, Sohagen Woods, The Loop. This is just in October. Well, some of these have been updated. I appreciate that. The Loop, Red, Willow Run, Lincoln Green, The Wilderness of Fortune Bay, Diamond Creek, Shadow Mountain, Amherst, Crystal Downs, Forest Dunes, Jasper Park, Texas Star, Valley Country. Oh, no, we're into September. It just shows the work these designers are doing. And thank you for sharing it with the SGT community. Yes, you can go on the Patreon sites and you can gain access to exclusive courses. And that helps um, motivate the designers to do what they're doing. But um, I'm about the competition. That's why I play. So I like the courses being on, on here and, and shared. And obviously a lot of the Patreon servers do then allow the courses after a while to be shared with the community. So thank you all for doing that. So thank you to people like Ardaya, um, See some golf, is that one person, two people? See some golf, Strong Design Studio, Pac-Man, Ame, Squirtail, Bugo Lax, Bomber Golf Studios, Pac-Man, uh, Laser Doc, Ame, P. Wade, Jay Gixrod, Bucko Lax, uh, The Great Bangini, Mashi, Jay Rockway, New Sticks, Jay Pruitt, uh, Pob, Run Pudrun, Pac-Man, I haven't seen Techie up here, but Techie is doing his stuff, Laser Doc, um, or Scott, The Golf Boy, I've seen him on Facebook, Giyeti, finding time amongst running Ryder Cup events, and J.K. Sukat, all these guys, Shaq Bill, sorry if I've missed anybody out, McGregor, Grapple Farmer, uh, there's Tech Bird, Pina, DPR, Adam, all you guys, wonderful, thank you for doing what you're doing. And that is it, so that is a mammoth update, I hope um, people have liked it, I'm going to keep it just under an hour, I've got 12 seconds to kill. Um, if I've offended anybody, I didn't mean to. 
please add comments, let me know what you think, and I'll see you hopefully in a week's time. Laters.